you may have some DVDs laying around your house that you might want to back up because DVDs don't last forever. Sometimes the glue, there's DVD rot. Um, so you might want to save them before they become unwatchable. Or you just want to have them backed up for various reasons. Um, a lot of people watch a lot of their home videos on a on a uh, media box that they have uh, hooked up to their TV or their smart TV. So you might want to convert all your DVDs to a storage device, a USB storage. And this is how you do that, to transfer DVD to USB storage. So a great program to do that would be this program here, Handbrake, which is a free program. It is available, multi-platform, available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, on this uh, system here, I have Linux, so it's detected that. So you just click that to download it. Now this here will actually tell you to download it through the command line. But the one thing is if you go to the software manager in Linux, it might not have the updated version, but if you want to update your version, just uh, copy and paste this line, control C, control V into your terminal. Just go like that, copy and paste that. If you want to install it into Linux. What you will need on your computer will be a DVD drive. So you just go to your DVD drive and just open up with Handbrake. And it will open up Handbrake and it will load up the um, previews. And it has some preset lists. So this video is not 1080p. So I'm not going to try to encode it as a uh, 1080p video. I'm going to try to encode it as a high quality 480p because it's an old fashioned standard definition NTSC video. So here's the dimensions here. That's me when I was back in 1989. So I just uh, go here, .mkv. So yeah, I wanted to encode as an MKV format because that will be able to play in most uh, my homeworks um, uh, over the air tuner PVR will be able to play that and uh, satellite receivers will be able to play that etc so you got all these you got these filters if you want to crop or stretch your video you can do that with all these settings here so once it's selected the source you just make sure that the DVD that you're putting in might have multiple videos so when you go right up here where it says title you just click on that and you'll ha and some DVDs will have multiple videos in it such as Easter eggs and things like that so you just go to that and you just um, uh, uh, add it to a queue and just uh, encode each video and the program will do it. So you just hit there and it will encode. So as it's encoding, this process can take um, quite some time. So um, I recommend, depending on how uh, new or old your computer is, if you have a newer, faster computer, you're probably going to be fine. But if you have a uh, slower or older computer like some of my machines, and even when I, I've been doing, I did all this like 10 years ago, um, it might take time to uh, do that. So you just want to leave it overnight, give it a couple hours just to do its thing. Um, I personally, I don't like to multitask, so I try not to have multiple programs running in the background. So you do that, and then you will have your DVD converted to an MKV file. And it will be able to be transferred via either a USB thumb drive or a USB storage device or any kind of hard drive or network drive or however you like to store your video files. So here's the video. You can look at the media codec information here. MPEG 4 AVC. It's 720 by 480. Uh, it does it at 29 frames per second. 